In this episode, you will learn to check whether your molecules contain certain substructural units to make sure, for example, that your compounds are free of any structural alerts, which may indicate toxic behavior. In this spreadsheet, there are a hundred compounds and the goal is to check if they contain any of those structural moieties that are listed in the second tab. First, I copy these names and paste them in the first row of sheet one. Optionally, you can convert the names to see the structures themselves using the from any text button. As a next step, let's check whether the first compound contains a hydrazine unit. In a previous video of the series, you can learn how to do this by substructure based filtering, but this video is about another solution based on the JC substructure match function in JChem for Office. This function checks if a target compound contains a query structure and gives true or false as an answer, while a related function called JC substructure match count can be used to count occurrence of a functional group in a molecule. Once you selected the cell in the intersection of the first compound and the first structural alert, start typing equals JC sub and select the first function JC substructure match from the top of the list. The function requires two parameters, the target compound as first and the query structure as second. With this, the formula is ready for the first check, but before copying it to adjacent cells, Fix the column for the target and the row for the query by adding dollar signs to the formula. Now smart copy it to the remaining cells. Dragging the fill handle in the lower right corner of the active cell will copy the formula to cells to the right in the first row and perform substructure matching between the first compound and every structural alert. For the compounds in the rest of the rows, double clicking on the fill handle will carry out the structure matching for the entire table. In order to see which compounds match with several alerts, use the count if function of Excel in a new column. Use the function in the first row, which counts the occurrence of true values, then repeat the calculation for all compounds with a double click on the fill handle. Finally, sort the table by the number of alerts in descending order to see compounds with the highest number of substructure matches in the top rows. Thank you for watching. For more tutorial videos and updates from Chemaxon, stay tuned and subscribe to our YouTube channel.